Hello and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman and today we're going to do a sight reading challenge. I'll present you with three different sight reading exercises from Sight Reading Trainer Book 1 and I'll challenge you to sight read them on your piano. The first step is to identify the clef and the time signature. So what clef are we using? If you said bass clef, you're correct. And what's our time signature? If you said 4-4, four, four, you're correct. And that top number tells us we'll count four beats in every measure. Which brings us to step two, which is to tap the rhythm while we count the beat. Since our top number is four, we'll count four beats in every measure and tap whenever we see a note. Don't forget that during a rest, you'll still count the beat, but not tap anything. A rest still takes up a beat, so we would, in measure one here, tap one, two, three, four. Say four, but don't tap. Now, today my challenge is to do as much on your own as possible. So I'm going to count four beats to get started, and then I'd like you to tap on your own the rhythm that you see. So I'll count four beats and then tap and be sure to count the beat out loud along with me. Here's four beats to get ready. One, two, three, four. 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 Great job. Now the next step is to point and say all the letter names for each note. So before we do that, just take a quick glance and tell me what you notice about how these notes are moving. Are they moving by step or skip or repeat mostly? I don't see any steps the whole time. Notice that all the notes are space notes. And when you have space notes, remember if you skip from a space to the next space, that's a skipping pattern. So we have some repeats, but then the rest are all skips, all skips and repeats. So now, can you point and say the letter name for this first note? If you said bass C, you're correct. This is one of our guide notes. Remember, bass C is three spaces down. One, two, three spaces down in bass clef brings us to bass C. Now, can you name the rest of the notes, I'll point and you name each note, the letter name. Go. C, now on your own. Rest. Rest. So if you said C, C, E, rest, G, 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 rest, G, G, E, rest, C, E, C, you're correct. It's all C, E, and G in this melody. Now, we're ready to try to play it. Now remember, for this challenge, I want you to do as much on your own as possible. So can you figure out, for the next step, where to place your hand? Remember, for the bass clef, we're using the left hand. Can you use the first note and finger number to find your hand position? Pause the video if you need more time. But you'll take finger five because of that number five and place it on a bass C, which will land you in this C major pentascale position. So now I'd like you to pause the video and do the next two steps on your own. You're going to play and name the notes, use the letter names, and then try to play it one more time while you count the beat out loud. So pause to work on those two steps on your own, then press play and we'll check it out together. All right, for your last step, it should have sounded like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If that matched what you played, great job. If you need more practice with it, no problem. You can always pause to get some more practice. But if you're ready, let's go on to the next exercise. Back to step one. Can you tell me what clefs you see? We have a treble and a bass clef, which forms our grand staff. Remember, our right hand will play all the notes on top. Left hand will play all the notes on the bottom. And what time signature did you see? 
Once again, we have a 4-4 four, four time signature. So we'll count four beats per measure, which means we're ready for step two. This time, when we tap the rhythm, use your left hand for any notes down here in the bass staff. So you can do this on your lap or any flat surface and use your right hand for any notes you see up in the treble staff. So this first measure would sound like this. One, two, three, four. Make sure your right hand takes a turn there. Your left hand's tapping these three notes while you count the beat. So once again, I'd like you to try this on your own. Use your left hand for the notes down here, right hand up here, and count the beat out loud with me. I'll give you four beats to get ready, and then you'll start here tapping with your left hand on beat one. Try it on your own. Tap and count. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Great job. Now, next step is to name the letter names for each note. Can you tell me the letter name for this first note in the left hand? If you said bass C, you're correct. Once again, we have our guide note. One, two, three spaces down. Three rhymes with C. Three spaces down is bass C. Can you name these other letters? Go. C. Now you go. If you said C, D, E, you're correct. And then for this, we have a chord. So we can just say chord because it can be kind of tedious to name all the notes in a chord. But we should check. It's a C and G together, but we'll just say chord. Now keep going on your own. Name the letters. you said C, D, E chord, again, you're correct. Now, sometimes it's helpful to remember where you were. Remember that this was an E because that can help you figure out this one. Or you could just see that it's a guide note. So what do we have here? Say the letter names. If you said F, E, D, F, you're correct. And remember that that was an F to help you figure out these two. Say their letter names. If you said E, C, you're correct. And then we finish with another C, G chord. Now, let's try to play it. Can you show me on your piano, try to find your hand position for the left hand first, since the left hand starts. Pause if you need more time. But once again, we have finger five on bass C, so your hand position should be here. Now, can you show me on your piano where to place the right hand? The right hand is fingers one and five on middle C and G. So both hands are landing in the C pentascale for this exercise. Now, once again, on your own, I'd like you to try to play this by yourself. So pause the video and the first time play and name the letter notes and then try it one more time while you play and count the beat. Little tip, try and keep your eyes on the page the whole time, not your fingers. Just trust your fingers that they're going to be where they need to be and let your eyes stay on the page and just communicate with your fingers to tell them which notes to play. Pause to work on that and then press play and I'll show you the correct answer. All right, for your last step, it should have sounded like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If that matched what you played, great job. If you need more time, you can always pause to get more practice. But if you're ready, let's go on to the next and final exercise for today. Step one, what are the clefs and time signature? If you said treble clef and bass clef, you're correct. And our time signature is four, four. So four beats per measure. Now looking ahead at the rhythms, we have some eighth notes. Remember that two eighth notes together both take up one beat. So when you get here, you'll have to tap two sounds inside beat three. So it might sound like this. We'll use our left hand to tap these two chords. One, 
two, three, four. Notice that on three, I had to tap a T, T. Three, two sounds inside beat three, and then beat four gets one quarter note. So ta, ta, T, T, ta. But we're going to count using the more professional counting system. One, two, three, four. Now you try. Tap this rhythm in measure one with me while we count the beat. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Good. Now, let's keep going. Can you tap the rest with me? Let's try measure two. Tap and count with me. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Remember to hold that half note for two beats. And now in this measure, which hand is tapping? Right hand or left hand? If you said right hand, you're correct. Our right hand, again, remember two eighth notes both share a beat. So here's beat one, here's beat two. We have one, two, beat three, two more eighth notes, and then beat four. So it will sound like this. One, two, three, four. Now try it with me. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. And then let's tap this measure, right hand, then left hand, two beats on each half note. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Now let's try the whole rhythm together. Tap and count. Left hand for the bass clef, right hand for the treble clef. Tap and count with me. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next step is to point and say the letter names for each note. So for this chord, what two notes do you see building that chord? Can you tell me the letter names? If you said bass F and middle C, you're correct. It's a bass F middle C chord. Ta, ta is what the left hand will play there. Looking ahead, that's the same chord the whole time. So let's focus now on the right hand part. What letter do you see here? Can you tell me it? If you said F, you're correct. So we have F, 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 chord, chord. And then what letter do you see here? If you said E, you're correct. And then what letter do you see here? Notice we've gone on to that space right below the staff. That's a D, 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 D. Then what do you see here? If you said E, 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 you're correct. And then what about this one? We have F and then a chord. Now let's try to play it. On your piano, can you show me where to place your left hand? Try to find it on your own piano. Your clues are always what note is it playing and what finger numbers. Well, we need a chord with an F and a C, so you'll place your fingers five and one on F, bass F, and middle C. That's your position for the left hand. Now, so you might think, oh, I know the position for my right hand, it's gonna be an F major pentascale, but you can't always count on that. When you're sight reading, should your hands, as we get to more advanced music, aren't always going to be in the same pentascale. So let's look carefully. What is the first note the right hand plays? If you said F, you're correct, but it's not a finger one, it's a finger three. So notice that the hands are next door neighbors. They're not in the same position. So be really careful and watch out for hand position in these sight reading exercises, especially as they get more challenging like this. Now, on your own, I'd like you to pause the video. Now that we're in the correct position, pause and try to play these notes while you name the notes out loud. For the chord, you can just say chord, chord, F, 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 like that. And then try it again while you count the beat. Then press play and I'll show you the correct answer. All right, for your last step, it should have sounded like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If that matched what you played, great job. If it didn't, that's okay. You can always get more practice. Making mistakes is part of how we learn. So just keep trying it until you feel like you've got it down. Great job completing today's sight reading challenge. On your own, I strongly recommend that you practice sight reading every day as part of your daily piano practice. 
Use Sight Reading Trainer Book 1 and try one or two exercises every day using the steps that we practice today, which you can find on page 14 of Sight Reading Trainer Book 1. Every time you complete an exercise, you can mark it in your book with a check to help keep track of which ones you've already completed. Thanks for watching and learning with me, and happy practicing! Monkey, now it's your turn to learn how to sight read. I'll tell you how the notes are moving, and you play it on the piano, okay? Ooh, ooh. You ready? It starts on bass C. Go ahead, play a bass C. Good. Now repeat. Now step up. Good. Step up. Now jump down. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I, I, I meant to say skip down. Sorry, monkey. Can you hear me? Ooh, ooh.